All right, so let's talk about the good old thermal switch, which is one of my favorite things when it comes to electronics, if you want to control something by a temperature. These things rule, <laughs> because whenever it's not being used, it doesn't actually consume electricity. <laughs> so if the switch is open, which means it is off, then no energy is being used. Uh, when, when the switch is closed and engages, energy can pass through. And uh, you can get these from many different temperatures and variations of temperatures. Like this one turns on at 90, turns off at 74. You can get one that works in the opposite, that turns on at 60 and turns off at 70. You know, you can get them in many different, different settings. Uh, this one's a really cheap one. This one I think was five bucks off the internet and um, you can find them for you know many different settings um, they also make some that you can adjust the temperature to a certain degree um, uh, most of them I will have a flat plate on the front where you can bolt it to something and it'll hold it you know so if you had a piece of metal you could actually bolt it to the metal and then put it in the sun or whatever um, they have many different uses they will work on AC or DC. You just have to check the amperage and voltage to make sure that you know you're not exceeding that. But uh, they're very simple to use. And let's say you have a fan in your room and you want the fan to turn on at a certain set point. Well, then you can just buy the snap switch within or the thermal switch. Which they call it the snap switch. It has many different names, but you can buy it within that set point and it will turn on at a certain like temperature and off at a certain temperature. So you can buy one that turns like that closes at uh, 70 <laughs> and then opens at 60. Well what that would do is when it hits 70 in the room you're in then it will engage and close and then energy will be able to pass through and so it will turn on the fan and then when it reaches the other set point which is say it's 60 then it will open and then the energy will stop. So very cool. Very, very useful. You can use these for many different applications. You'll find these in a lot of different uh, a lot of different appliances. They actually a lot of you'll see them in dryers and stuff like that. Uh, they're very useful though. And uh, you can basically you build them build anything out of these that you want to turn on or off something via temperature. So, very cool. If you have any questions, let me know. I think I covered everything, but uh, I didn't. I don't know. Uh, hit me below, and I will try to answer any questions you have about these. And uh, definitely, you can get these off the internet pretty much anywhere. <laughs> and uh, they're called thermal switches. They have several different names. People call them snap switches. They're it's like disk switch. <laughs> it's there's a lot of different names, but that's pretty much. I, like if you look up thermal switch, you'll see these, <laughs> and uh, that'll hook you up. All right, well, you guys take it easy. Peace out.